Okay, yeah, 12 insanely useful iPad features coming right up with number 12. Starting in the Fights app, certainly one of the most used apps for work on your iPad. Here we can find some handy quick actions that can replace many third-party apps. By simply tapping and holding a file such as this JPEG image, we can access the magic wand quick actions icon. This menu right here will adapt depending on the selected file. With this image, we can one tap rotate it or even convert it to a different file format so we can change the image file type and then the image size. What's more, we can select multiple files like this JPEG, PNG and PDF and then use the create PDF action to merge those different file types into one single PDF file. Oh and let's not forget about the remove background action which lets us easily remove the background from any image only leaving the subject. It's as easy as that. All with just one tap all natively built into your iPad. And the same is true for the scan documents feature, which allows us to conveniently scan paper documents using the iPad. In the Fights app, within any folder, you can simply tap the three dots at the top of the sidebar. Here, you can choose scan documents. This will bring up a camera window that instantly recognizes and captures any sheet of paper, automatically detecting its edges. Once done, you can make adjustments to the edges if needed and change the filter to grayscale or black and white, making it look like an old school scan, removing any shadows. Now I can simply save the scan as a PDF in my current folder. It's as simple as that. What isn't as simple though is calculating stuff on the iPad because Apple has still not provided us with a native calculator app. Although they kind of have because we can still access the calculator. Let me explain. By swiping down anywhere on the lock or home screen, we get to a spotlight search. Here you can type in any calculation you need. Instantly, you receive the result and can tap and hold to copy it. But wait, there's more. You can also perform currency conversions like $125 to euros or unit conversions such as converting 32 inches to meters pretty cool. And on that note, there are two hidden keyboard features that made typing on the iPad's on-screen keyboard much easier. The iPad's screen can get pretty big, so typing comfortably with two hands can be a challenge. So let's fix it. By using two fingers, you can drag the keyboard outwards to the screen edges. This splits the keyboard in half, so reaching the keys is much easier. To get the keyboard back to normal, you can slide two fingers inwards. What's more, if you quickly pinch the keyboard, it will pop out and turn into a smaller iPhone-like keyboard, which means you can now use the swipe to type feature. You can connect any characters by swiping between them and the iPad will instantly detect the word you intend to type. Can take some time to learn, but it's much faster than tapping each letter at once. Again, to get back to the full screen keyboard, just quickly drag it outwards with two fingers. But if you prefer to not type at all and happen to own an Apple Pencil, you can use it to convert your handwriting into text. There are two ways to use this feature. First, in an app like Notes, you can tap the markup icon and select the pen with the letter A on it. You can then write anywhere on the screen and the iPad will quickly convert your handwriting to type text and insert it into your note. To start a new line, tap the paragraph icon down in the Apple Pencil toolbar. Second, Second, you can use your Apple Pencil to write into any text field like the search bar in Files and the iPad will recognize your handwriting and instantly convert it into typed text. Or here in an iMessage chat. And if you made a mistake, simply scribble over the written text and it's deleted. Great. And while it's on the topic of editing text, to move your text cursor, you don't need to connect a magic trackpad or mouse to your iPad. Your iPad actually has a hidden trackpad built in. Simply tap and hold with two fingers anywhere on your on-screen keyboard and then drag along until your cursor reaches the wanted position. Much more convenient than leaving your keyboard and trying to tap the right spot in the text. This not only works in text documents, but anywhere on your iPad, like here in the Safari search bar, or here in an iMessage typing field. And this notification here 
comes in quite handy. It can be quite bothersome to constantly have to switch between, let's say, an iMessage conversation and a text document you're currently working on. So as soon as a new message comes in and you want to reply with more than one text, you can tap and hold the notification and drag it over to open the conversation in slide overview. You get this smaller window that floats on top of your current app window. This way we can continue the conversation, send multiple messages all without leaving the current app. When done, simply tap the three dots to close the slide overview. Neat. And what if I told you that you have the power to transform your cluttered and boring Safari browser homepage from this to this? You can do so by opening a new tab and tapping on the prominent edit button. Here you can select exactly what info you want to see on your Safari start page every time you open a new tab. And you know me, I prefer a clean look, so I've chosen to deselect everything. What's more, you can also add a personal touch by adding a background image to your start page. Once finished, you can toggle on use start page on all devices so all the changes you made will sync across Safari on your iPad, Mac or iPhone. Oh, and before I forget, there's a much quicker way to take screenshots on your iPad without the need to press any buttons. With either your finger or the Apple Pencil, you can slide off the bottom left screen corner to instantly capture a screenshot. Quick and easy. And if you slide off the right corner of your screen, your iPad will bring up a quick note for you. You can jot down any fleeting thoughts without the need to open the Notes app. Once you swipe the note away, it's saved in your Quick Notes folder within the notes app for future reference. Oh, and by the way, if your iPad screen is switched off, you can tap it with your Apple Pencil to instantly open a full screen quick note. It makes your iPad feel even more like an always available notepad. And remember the slide over feature we talked about earlier? It's incredibly useful because it allows you to open any app in a smaller window that slides in and remains in front of your current app window. But what's more, you can drag and drop multiple apps onto this slide over a window, creating a swipeable carousel of apps that are always accessible without leaving the current app. This feature comes in really handy when writing an email while referencing another text document. And then we can keep the conversation open in the slide over window and additionally have quick access to the music app to switch songs or playlists. To leave the slide overview, you can tap on the three dots at the top and select close. Pretty useful. Which brings us to the find and replace feature. When highlighting a word in a document, we can tap find selection, which instantly highlights every other appearance of the same word in our current document. That's already quite useful on its own. But what's more, we can tap the magnifying glass and select find and replace. We can now type in a new word that should replace the found word. We can either go through each individual word one by one or by tapping and holding replace, we can choose to replace all instances of the found word. Very useful. And what's also incredibly useful is this video right here. Alright, I will see you there. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.